Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, I want to cover a different type of connector. Actually, this connector was sent in to me from a client in Dublin, Ireland. Um, I actually built his spindle cable. Um, he must have been happy enough with that spindle cable to send me his power uh, actual connector. And this connector is different because for my European listeners out there, uh, it's a, a unique connector for me to work on because most clients uh, in the European Union are not technically going to send in uh, their connector to have it serviced. But um, this is a very unique connector and I wanted to point out some interesting uh, things about it. First of all, it's very well made. It's got a built-in stress relief in the end you can adjust by just uh, screwing in its end cap. Um, but there are some unique things to discuss here. You can see that the screws in the way they actually sit against the terminals, I get a lot of questions on how do I get the proper measurements to bottom out for a connector like this. The easiest way to do it naturally is to first cut the cable, get all your, uh, your work done as far as your shielding, and then come in here and actually use a Sharpie marker after you bottom out each lead after releasing some of the tension on the screws put them in, mock it up as far as assembling it, and then you just make a mark with a Sharpie, and then you'll use proper wire strippers. Now, of course, I don't play games, I use Nipix, and anyone who's familiar with electrical is gonna tell you Nipix is the best, and there's a reason. Um, these naturally line up. I can adjust for measuring precisely, and that's exactly what we want. We wanna make sure we don't uh, destroy any of our conductors. It also keeps your uh, casing very nice once it removes it. Um, overall, that's how you get them to bottom out properly. You can see here that this connector is a VP3004 from Vin Power. It's an interesting name. Uh, 16 amp, 2P plus E. It's rated 200, 250 volt. And again, this is his power cord. And you can see here I've got the jumper coming in from his shield drain to his ground. There is no way in certain connectors that you can, or I should say on certain connectors, there are simply no way to apply solder. This is one of those connectors and I'll explain why. Uh, first of all, the metal that's used on this connector will not accept, even after flux, solder. Of course, I always test that first and that's something I always look at because I always like to drop a bead in there. Unfortunately, um, it's just you know a principle of this personal connector that it will not accept solder. Now that's it's something that we have to look at because again, there's nothing like a welded connection. Uh, this particular connector though does have dual screws on the actual ground lead. And then of course on the top power leads, it's got an actual uh, single screw, but these are really heavy duty screws. Um, in best practice, I always recommend soldering if possible. Certain connectors are not able to be soldered. I've gotten that question a lot. And this is a really unique connector. It's very high quality, but the way that they have it configured, it's just, you're just no way you can actually apply solder. Like I said, the metal itself will not accept it. You can see I actually did a contact point on the ground to see if it would, and it would not. Now, you can see, once again, how we did our silicone jumper coming from our red lead, which will be allocated as the ground. Of course, we know that ground is typically green in the U.S. Um, I believe it's that way as well in the European Union. I will be putting a label on this to indicate, once again, which is a priority, if you're not going to use green as ground, uh, you must label the connector and the cable itself so that the end user or whoever's servicing it is actually going to see that it is a ground lead other than green. In this case, it will be red. You can see here we use our double wall heat shrink with our adhesive to finish the cable off giving our leads a nice clean end after we've cleaned all the actual shielding and everything here is perfect. We've got our silicone jumper here because it's massive, it's extremely flexible and that is soldered on to the base of the red lead. Now I did that intentionally because again, we want him to have the lowest possible resistance and again, the ground coming from the wall going once again to the opposite side where the VFD will be connected um, using ring connectors, that ring connector will also have a shield drain attached to it going to the VFD and he will be golden. This is a perfect connector. So again, you can see exactly how this goes. Uh, closing it up, very simple. We just line it up and it locks. And that's the actual connector and you just see me finish it. So what I will do here is I will finish it by rotating the butt cap. This gives us proper tension, gives us a nice stress relief. We do that comfortably, and it's got a nice silicone insert right there. Very well made. Once that's done, 
I then release my vise, and now what I'll do, and she'll stay right there, is I bring up my finishing double wall heat shrink, and I just bring this up, and what this does is add a slight bit of rigidity right here, and we're golden. I'll, I'll shrink that in, and you can see how this connector is fully assembled. Once again, very well made, and this is a beautiful power cable. Definitely last him a lifetime. So again, guys, I hope that these videos have been helpful. I know I don't do a lot of videos uh, for my European clients, and I wanted to do more, and I'm really uh, blessed that he actually sent this connector in because it's one of those rare ones that I can show you guys the differences of what's out there. It's interesting, if you want to open this connector up, you press to open these releases, and it just unlocks. Very, very cool. Um, the European Union does have some cool toys that unfortunately us in the U.S. do not have. But uh, once again, Carl, I, I thank you for your patience and, of course, your support. And I think you'll be real happy with this cable. So again, guys, if you have any questions, I know many of you will. Please forward your questions direct to storm2313 at gmail.com. You can also message me direct at my eDealer store, eDealer Direct. Uh, that will be on uh, in the link in the description. That's my eBay store, of course. Uh, whichever way you feel comfortable, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Right now, the shop has been crazy, of course. I'm trying to keep up, and if you don't hear back from me within 24 hours, typically it'll be the next day. So just sit tight, and I'm sure uh, within a day or so, I will definitely get back to you. Thank you all for your support. Take care.